All right, so you just bought your first drum set, and you've never played drums before, and you want to get started and have some fun right away, and so you want to know what's the one thing, what's the first thing you should address. So I'm going to teach you the most basic rock beat. Um, it'll be the foundation for other beats that you'll learn that are more complicated, but this one is uh, good enough to go and uh, good enough that you can be dangerous and have a little fun and play around with other musicians while you... Uh, work on your chops, hone your skills, and get a little better. So, if you don't already know this, most rock beats are in what's called 4-4, which means you're going to count to 4 over and over. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. And the structure here is we're going to go low, high, low, high. Bass drum, snare drum, bass drum, snare drum. So that's your right foot, left hand, right foot, left hand. So like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. Once you've got that, the next thing you're going to do is add in your right hand playing together with each of those things. So it's going to go together on this uh, hi-hat symbol, which is the one that's controlled with your foot. You're going to keep it closed with your left foot the whole time and just go like this. Together, 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 together. One, two, three, four. You take it nice and slow and then you speed it up. The next thing you're going to add in is that every now and then, when you're, you're playing these measures, one, two, three, four, every so often on the, the count of four, you're going to play four notes all in a row as a little uh, drum fill. So it'll sound like this. It'll be one, two, three, four eanda, one, two, three, four eanda, and sometimes you'll do that on three and four. But first, let's hear what it's like on four. And if you were to do that on, say, beats uh, three and four, where you go three e and a four e and a, then let's maybe mix it up and go high tom, low tom, like this. One, two, three, four. 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 Now you notice I'm getting fancy and ending that little fill with my crash cymbal. Uh, you can probably do that too, in which case that takes the place of beat one. Of the next measure. Now here's another little just convention you should know as you're playing around and playing these little rock beats in four. Um, if you're playing in the verse, you're probably gonna play in the hi-hat. If you're moving to the chorus, the part that gets repeated, you move it to the ride cymbal. So you'll be going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. As you change sections of the song. Now, final thing I'll give you is that this is, you know, well I'll give you two two pieces of advice. First is that even that simple beat, if you play it with conviction and you play it steady, is good. That's good musicianship, to play that with conviction and play it steady. So be zen with it, keep it simple, but keep it tight, keep it steady. Uh, and then finally, <clears throat> is that the next thing you're going to want to work up to, the next variation, is to make the hi-hat do two notes. So you're going one and two and three and four and as you go one two three four and the way that sounds is like this All that stuff taken together, that's like the, the crash course for if you have all those skills, you can sit down and you can play. You can get better at those things. You can get a little more adventurous with your fills. You can get a little more adventurous with what your feet are doing. You can get a little more adventurous with what, the, what your left hand is doing. There's a whole world of additional stuff to do, but that is the cornerstone. That's the first thing you should work on. So go out and have fun and hope that was helpful. All right.